Hello, thank you for watching the Cloud Factory. Today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful party dress for a girl. I hope you like it, so stay with me and let's see how to make it. fabric we are going to cut a rectangle which it will be our skirt piece of the dress with the measurements I am showing you on the screen. Trace it and cut it considering extra space for stitches. And now we are going to use this rectangle of fabric to cut exactly the same but now in our satin fabric or the main fabric you are using for your dress. And there you have it, lining and a skirt piece for your dress. Now for the top part, for your lining fabric, uh, like this. And here we are going to mark half of the shoulders. And here from shoulders to armpit, also here. And trace this rectangle. And here I'm going to mark one fourth part of chest, adding loosing. And here from shoulders to waist. And from here one fourth part of waist, adding loosing. I will transfer the same measurement here. And trace this line. And now this join these two points. Now from here to my left 2.5 inch for the shoulder and here 3 inch for the neckline. Trace the curve for neckline and also for the armhole is the front part so I am going inside of the line and cut considering extra space for stitches. This is the front part. We are going to use it as a pattern to cut the back part. Just pin it. Trace the armhole, this time outside of the line and the neckline is smaller, about one inch from here. And cut everything following the same lines. And there you have your lining pieces front and back. Now use these lining pieces as a pattern and cut it exactly the same shape in the satin fabric. This is my back part. Hold it by the middle and cut it by the center line because we are going to attach buttons in the back part. There you have it, satin and lining for both pieces. Do the same with the front part, but obviously this one, keep it in one piece. Lining and satin fabric. Now fold your skirt piece like this, pin it, and in the other side, we are going to draw our flower in this way, starting from the center I'm going in a spiral like this and this will be one of our flowers now unfolded and in this side I am going to draw another flower and in this side also another flower. You can draw as many flowers as you want. And in the bottom part just draw a curved line like this, like a wave. Now take your organza or your net fabric Unfold it by the middle. In this way and then again by the middle. And now like this. And you will have this. I have these two folded parts. Set it like this. 
and we are going to pin here and it's very important here that you keep all the edge of the fabric together then pin it and we are going to cut the strips of fabric of 8 inch width in this way I am getting um, 2 meters and a half long strips of fabric because I, I got 2 meters and a half of my organza once I extend it it looks like this and I have 4 strips of fabric if you want to know exactly how uh, long you need your strips to be just measure the line you draw before for your flowers measure one flower then multiply it by three or for the number of flowers you draw and that will be the total length of your strips now here I have my pieces for the top part take it in this way this is the main fabric and we are going to attach the sides like this facing the right sides of the fabric we are going to stitch by here like this and stitch here and also in this side once you have it open it in this way and do the same with your lining then press the seams uh, opening them and then facing right sides of the fabrics inside set it in this way and we are going to sew here the armhole and the necklines here also and here that means everything except for the shoulders once you sew it make these cuts in the curved lines and then here in the shoulder part we are going to unstitch about one inch and a half you can also uh, don't stitch it since the beginning but I prefer to stitch all and after that unstitch the shoulders in the four um, shoulders points then turn it out in this way and press it now close it in this way and here you have the shoulders is open as you can see here so first I will take the lining shoulders these two pieces and I will uh, stitch it together and you will have this now turn it to the other side this time with the right side of the fabric inside and here as you can see you have the shoulder lining that we already stitch and here we have the main fabric also the shoulders and stitch it by here you have to stitch the shoulders separate like this then in this hole as you can see you have the inside fabric so pull it out in this way and if you see here you have a hole because we didn't stitch it before so just take it together and stitch here it seems to be complicated but I promise when you make it it will be so easy do the same in the other side and there you have your lining with no stitches in the inside part now take the lining for the skirt and we are going to give a simple hem in the bottom part like this and in the sides if you have an overlock machine give a stitch here but if you don't have you can use this foot it's an overcasting foot for brother machines is the G foot if you have another machine just take the one which looks like this 
Choose the overcasting stitch for me is the number six. The length of the stitch I will keep it in 2.5 and the width in 4. Now set your fabric here and give a stitch in the both edge of your lining piece for your skirt. It looks like this and is for a better finishing to your garment. Now here we are going to gather it. If you don't know how to make this, you can watch my video about horizontal panels and arcali. There you will find detailed instructions for this. Distribute the creases here until you reach the length of your top, but keep half inch in every side for stitches in the skirt. Now attach it, sewing here, facing um, right sides in this way. I keep here half inch for stitches as I told you and you will have something like this. Now take your strip of fabric if you need join uh, two or more strips for me is enough with one for one flower and a stitch here and give a overcasting stitch in the edge also if you don't have overcasting foot or stitches you can use a simple zigzag stitch now take your strip of fabric and we're going to attach it following the line we draw before for our flower. Fold it in this way in a triangle and then start stitching from the center following the line you draw. Match the corner of the triangle with the starting point of your line and just start stitching following the line. Once you finish your flower will look like this, not like a flower. So for that you will need to give uh, hand stitches to cover these spaces. Just open the fabric like this and stitch it to the satin fabric and you will have something like this or as you want your flower that is up to you and do the same with the other two flowers. Once it's done, uh, make a simple hem in the bottom part and also overcasting a stitch in both edge, same, same as we did in the lining piece. And now attach another strip of fabric in the same way we attach it for the flowers but following the curved line we draw in the bottom part. Like this, then we will fold it in this way. Cut the excess of fabric and now find the empty spaces on your skirt and fill it with pieces of organza and do the same in every empty space you find in your skirt piece and you will have this. Now in the uh, wrong side of your fabric Cut a piece of interfacing fabric and attach it by pressing. And once you finish, also gather the top part of your skirt and attach it to the top part 
with the main fabric of your dress obviously and you will have this now with the measurement of the waistline we are going to cut um, our belt piece is a rectangle of fabric 4 inch width and also cut a strip of organza 4 inch width and another strip 6 inch in width the 4 inch width uh, strap fold it and press it in this way and we are going to make some pleats just fold it like this and stitch fold the next pleat and keep stitching and do the same with all the strap of fabric With a 6 inch strip of organza we are going to give a stitch here and gather it. And you need uh, two pleated strips of fabric of 28 inch or the measurement of your waist line and also this one this ruffle it has to be the length of your waistline now we are going to attach the ruffle here here the ruffle and then over the ruffle put the belt piece in this way and we are going to attach these three pieces of fabric together and you will have this as you can see here I didn't uh, attach the lining piece only the main fabric now put the pleats together in this way alternating the spaces and the pleats here I have pleat space pleat space like this now fold the belt in this way and under the belt put the two pleated pieces and stitch all together by here you can pin it if it's easier for you then unpin it once you stitch it and you must get something like this now take the measurement of the top in the back part, add 2 inch to that measurement and cut 2 strips of fabric. The first one it must be 2 inch and a half width and the second one it must be 1 inch and a half width. And we are going to attach it here for buttons and buttonholes. This time I will take also the lining fabric when stitching. The one and a half inch uh, strip we are going to attach it in the left part of the back in this way, make a fold at the beginning and attach it in the edge. Now fold it to the wrong side of your dress make a fold here like a hem and give a stitch in the edge of this when you reach uh, uh, the pleats just fold it to down in this way and stitch until here then stop and now fold it the pleats to the other side and start stitching again after the pleats now cut the excess of fabric but keep one centimeter to fold in the bottom part and stitch here and also here and you will have this and in this side it looks like this 
Now in the other side attach the two and a half inch strip of fabric in the same way but this time fold the strip of fabric by the middle because this will overlap the other part. This part is for our buttonholes. This time I stitch it over the pleats and finish here and you will get this. This part will overlap this. Now we are going to attach the back part of the skirt. Take the lining pieces in this way together and we are going to stitch from the bottom part and we are going to stop about two inch and a half before to reach the waistline and after that do the same with the main fabric and also stop before to reach the waistline about two inch and a half. Here I am stitching the lining piece and I will stop here and here I am uh, stitching the main fabric piece. And there you have it, your dress is almost ready, you only have to make button holes and attach the buttons here. I'm going to choose these pearl buttons. I am making the button holes with my machine but you can also make it by hand if you don't have this stitch in your machine. And now I am attaching the buttons in the other side. there you have it. It looks like this. And that's it. Your dress is ready. I really hope you like this tutorial. If it's like that, give me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. And also check the description box below because I will give you there more information and also the links to my networks because I would love to see your creations. And if you have any doubt, leave me a comment in this video and I will reply you as soon as possible. Thank you to all my lovely clouds for all the support and love you give me all the time. And happy stitches for everyone. I will see you the next time.